That's a very triumphant music. Yeah, I was gonna say that that music is that you. music is intense. Great job. I love this game's music. They just they did such a good job with I all of it. it, and it changes. It's not like this is the only track we ever hear. Da 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 da. So far, it's clear from the intelligence you've gathered after what's happened at Alice Springs that the Simpsons Gap. Okay, so Simpsons Gap is also relatively in the correct It'll place. show up on another um, map later, though, near Melbourne. <laughs> they just couldn't think of a town yeah, name, so they just called it the Simpsons Gap. Like, well, maybe G they move it, but it's actually not, not G-Y-A-P-P. -P. It's that's, just Gap. That's what happens when you ask someone place, from Japan like to spell Gap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bye bye, our possums. Goodbye, red possum. We're gonna go join Yellow Quaka. Dingo's like got places to be. <laughs> Quakas are adorable. Is there anything? Is there anything notable about Simpsons it's, Gap? It's a canyon. It's kind of. It, it's Australia's Grand Canyon, I guess. It's pretty. Well, well, no, no, not even. But um, <laughs> Australia doesn't Fuck have big deep canyons. Like, let's just get that out. It's more like like the raised elevations of like rock that like has got a, a big pass through. So the here's he, you know, like Australia doesn't have big mountains. This is the other reason I'm playing so on it's normal. It's like a big. It's a big range, but it's got a gap. In it. I'm sorry to interrupt you here. This is the other reason I'm playing on normal because the gal that we have to shoot down in this mission is much higher up on hard. And it is it is hard to shoot down. You have to hit the engines in exactly the right spot or they take no damage. And the the right spot isn't the spot you lock on to. Except except from a very specific angle. If if you have the angle just right then it will, but you have to be directly Lieutenant, under it for that to be the right angle. We finally got a report on that train that's been the cause of so much worry. Oh. Sorry line, to interrupt there. <laughs> it's a high output beam cannon. No, no, that's okay. By the it's a fucking it's burst kind of liner. <laughs> the only prototype in existence Again, is if we let that get into the last mission, the, the uh, end boss in the last mission will two shot so, us with it. It will blow up. I love that this game. I love that this game basically drills into you. Don't don't trust the Zeke because the end boss without this thing is still really fucking hard. I I end with like 104 hit points left or less. Because it's got it's got Musai main cannons on it. If you don't let it get the burst the burst line. Exactly. Wow, the commander Sometimes actually did the right thing for change, but on you the surface seem unfair. You stood you stood on a house and killed a small soldier for the little bit of and are eventually going to Thanks, be smuggled Steve. in here. The Xeon forces are left with no choice. <laughs> this is the only path they have to get home. Lieutenant, I think that everything we do from now on may have a big impact on the war situation, and we have to keep that in mind, whatever course of action we choose. Leong's also got a backstory, but I won't spoil it. Team can't change the entire war situation. I wouldn't say that. I've been hearing rumors that an autonomous unit has been doing so well for the Federation that it's changing the war situation by itself. If you can believe that, haven't you heard about them? Oh yeah, I saw something about how a bunch of kids with prototype mobile suits and a new class of ship are out there really kicking some serious butt. That's a load of bull, right? <laughs> White base is just a propaganda story. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Zion's like, Zion's like, a white ship. Let's everybody charge at it. They even call it the Trojan. They even call it the Trojan horse, and they still fucking continually chase it. Even though it's like at the at one point the Federation just goes. Tactically speaking, it's not that important to just have one ship. But the Gio the Zion forces just keep fucking chasing it. So let's just let them do that. The fucking fantastic distraction. Been given full authorization to use a prototype beam I rifle for this God, mission. That, like, These things that can be difficult to use, so get some practice and use it efficiently. Rubbing your face in the fact that and you're not you really flying a gun down right now. Well, say you we are getting the beam rifle, rifle for the first the time, so this is where I personally consider it okay to to switch to the new game plus weapons, but we need to use the prototype beam weapon, beam rifle for this. 
um, yes. large shield. And look at the power on that. Good fucking greasy. It's got six shots. It, it, more than enough to kill everything instantly. It takes about it takes about 30 seconds to be ready for you to swap the battery out and put in a new one. So this thing it has a really long reload time. And if I, I lost this mission enough times when I was younger that I don't uh, I play it in a very specific way that is designed to give me the most possible shooting time on the gal. So I'm going to be cutting about five minutes out in the middle where we just sit around doing nothing and I just dick around with my shield waiting. <laughs> there is enough. <laughs> he does, that's how long the reload takes. So, we may have to so I mean, each we just bought a revolver ocelot, but it doesn't really apply here mission. because Pop Tarts does, in fact, not love. I do not, no. I'll, I'll put it this way if you are reloading when the Gao shows up and you miss one of the engines and you have to wait for a reload, there's a good chance it will be out of range before you finish reloading. And it can fly on one engine, even one of the little ones. Oh shit. YouTube! Did my internet just drop? Okay, what, what's your timestamp? Because, uh... Okay. Okay. Hey, I don't think I'm there. Forty-four. Okay, I'm there. Uh, sorry. YouTube decided it was just gonna, you know, stop loading. Sounds like Jacqueline's in big trouble, Lieutenant. So I got to miss out on the dumb Jacqueline conversation. What the hell? Damn, she's gonna be really hot when she's a skeleton. Natural erosion, as well as the enormous destruction brought on by the colony drop, has turned it into an almost endless natural labyrinth. Navigation can be treacherous. When you add in the decreased visibility, all the mist causes, you should check in with Oasis. Before you, you, you can't hear her over the sound of them walking, but she's warning our guys not to shoot us in the back. They're gonna anyway, shoot us. Get over to the Gal's projected flight path at once. The, the game loves having her speak and then cutting to the mobile suits walking so that you can't hear her over the sound of the mobile suits walking. What are they doing here? This is the real Lieutenant, sexism. it's the enemy. It appears that we have enemy ground forces closing in all around us. There are Zakus. Fortunately, there's a perfectly safe place they can't get at us where we can shoot the gal down. They were hiding here the time waiting to ambush us. How was I supposed to know that? Fang One, you call the shots. We have to be stopped for the radar to work. Good point. I like how she <laughs> gave us permission so, to do our job so I think as the it, commander of this whole unit, including her. I also really appreciate how the ambush started and it got incredibly. Oh no, Saku! I I will never not appreciate the the mono eye. It's just such a fucking great way to like make your and this look ominous. Oh, uh, this me. music! I love this. Something bad is happening. Music. It's so ominous, it's like... We're in Predator all of a sudden. I mean, with all of the fog around and the the, the, sin uh, the single eye throwing out a, uh, a weird crosshair sort of thing, yeah, I could believe that. I love the music in this game, so you can completely bypass the starting vacuum if you position yourself just right, and I don't. There's a little ledge up here that you can jump onto, but I keep getting shot, because there's a Zaku right <laughs> to our left. So sort of like, why is this guy hopping up and down? I'm trying to fight here. He's not okay, taking so this battle seriously. I couldn't get the angle, so back up strat. This one's a little lower. 
<laughs> speed running, speed running the one year war. I didn't, you know, the record was one year. Why do we have to speed it up? <laughs> That's pretty good as far as, as far as wars go. I, okay, it's up the three day war, but let's, you know, we can't. And once we're on top of this, the tallest bit, we are completely immune to being attacked. We can't get <laughs> shot up here. It's just all these, all these fucking four, four Zaku's just rubbing up against the, uh, rubbing up against the rock down yep. below. Where you take out your yeah. cigar. Because, I mean, this seems like a great place for. Well, a this is me cigar. trying to line myself up with where the gal is going to show up, and I still manage to fuck it up. I know where it's coming from. How exactly do you have any <laughs> point of, re- of reference here? Like, uh, it's pure yeah, it's white. very carefully looking at the map and then adjusting my position, and then looking at the map, and then adjusting my position, and then looking at the map, and. I mean, Yes, you have your oh, realizing you, you, you needed to adjust The compass it has no more. cardinal directions built into it, you'll notice. You can hear the Zak. Well, that's the Gao, actually. You can hear the Gao coming for like hours before it shows up. Because it's a big motherfucking flying fortress. Do I start dancing with the music? Did I leave that in? Because I do at one point. <laughs> <laughs> nope, there it is. If you didn't, you're you're a better man than me. The GM for stands for Grandmaster. Prepare for mobile suit drop. So this is the Gao is Open. almost here, but the Gao is not here yet. Cutscene. This is this is your warning to if you're not on the rock already, get up on the rock, idiot. Drop. But. Oh. I suppose that's a uh, that's a Zaku command. I yep. guess the uh, the specialty Zaku show up. This one's got the uh, the commander spike. The bunny ears Zaku cannon will also be showing up. Music change. I really appreciate that, uh, that it's a yeah, that's what that's Zaku. the nickname. The colloqu- colloquial nickname for the Zaku cannon is the bunny ears type because it's got two of the commander so spikes good. on it. <laughs> Um, so by not killing those Zakus, the Zakus that dropped out of the Gao just vanish. Actually, they, they kill all the other Zakus for us. They're no longer in the mission. So we only have the, the, we only have the three new Zakus to contend with. We don't have to fight those other four. And you really are doing, uh, doing some Yeah, I'm just waiting around here. on top of a rock. It's basically Oop. the, the, uh, mech combat version of an auto-scroller. Oh, here's the gal. Oh, hello! <laughs> so... Is he seeing you here? We need to give it a moment, because I can't hit the engine from here. I cannot hit its vulnerable point. And if you waste shots, you're not fucked, but you're almost fucked. Because you can't just aim right at it. You have to carefully, just ever so slightly, wiggle your, your joystick up to aim at a point dead center. And that'll take the engine out. Because the Minovsky particles might be everywhere, but on the upside, the, the thing is so big, I have to carry mobile suits. Oh, and I, uh, I cut it out, but oh, I... does this remind me that actually, it actually appeared in the, in the, the Gunpla series, uh, Gundam Build Fighters. In a, in a massive battle royale, carrying, uh, carrying a whole bunch of other mobile suit Gunplas, um, who were all trying to get revenge on one guy who had stolen all their girlfriends. Oh, I remember that. Best, <laughs> no. Gold <Best laughs> Fighters was so great. For, for a knockdown, drag out yes. fight in billion dollar machines. You stole my girl! So I used up all my grenades <laughs> trying to hit the Zakus down below before. So now you just Our beam rifle is only die. just now <laughs> recharging. Also, it's worth noting that the, the guy who was piloting the, the gal, uh, in the uh, <laughs> in the uh, in the gun and build fighters, uh, also his favorite suit is the Trello, which is um, like the threat post picture of it. When they, when, whenever we get up to this point, if they haven't well, already, whose, whose favorite <laughs> suit isn't the Trello? I mean, to be fair, <laughs> this is me not realizing I have the grenade selected and trying to reload the beam rifle. Like, what? <laughs> And so we just reload the... This guy's like, once this, uh, this guy doesn't even know how to use a grenade. I'm getting out of here before he blows me once, up. Oh, I keep falling down the hill. Out of a... Truthfully, there was also the entire thing where, where he was Enemy just standing there shooting at the damn 
mountainside for a minute too, so I get the feeling that was two uh, two mobile suit pilots that were just totally on acid. The the beam rifle sound is just like one of the sexiest weapon sounds in like Mecca. Oh, the only thing that sounds better than it, uh, from my mind, is the beam magnum, which is basically this sound on crack. <laughs> uh, I love it. So, the mission's not complete until we kill all their, uh, we do have to kill the last Zaku. And I missed. So Leon got his, the second of the three kills he's gonna get here. I get 48 or so. Congratulations, Leon, you're not Mike. Yeah, Leon is three times better than Mike in terms of AI. <laughs> <laughs> This seems this seems to be like a, two, a specific decision. Bang <laughs> three, Roger that. Amazes me. Bang two, almost pulls trigger. It takes so long for that to recharge. Come on, there but you at go. the same time, it doesn't take much to absolutely annihilate. Yes, something. Yeah, seriously. I won't be using that again, but. At this point, I figure it's safe to use... Double tapping those, uh, those guys. Enemy destroyed. GG. At this point, I do start using the beam spray and the beam rifle. Still, why did they put this much force into a strategically worthless area like this? When you take the retreat from the last position into account, as well as this... It could be they were trying to evade us. Hey, the enemy have their own complicated reasoning, right? Phew. Man, I'm wiped out. Who knows why Zeon Let's does anything? Wrong. They're just like dogs. <laughs> Nothing they do actually well, makes he's sense. Not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything.